Hello everybody. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are already subscribers, uh, welcome back. Uh, I know I've been a little bit absent lately. I've been a little bit caught up on a lot of things. So um, that's the reason I've been absent from YouTube lately. But um, I'm still working on my weight loss journey. I have lost, I believe it was just one pound over the past two weeks, half a pound a week. But I mean, as long as I don't gain weight, I I feel like any loss is great because it, it's a step closer to my goal. Okay, so that being said, I wanted to go over um, some of the reasons of why I chose to have a better lifestyle, healthier lifestyle, because um, I feel like it's really important to know the reason um, so that you have like a clear vision of like how you want to look and feel within a certain amount of time. So one of the reasons is because um, the most important reason is for one's health, you, you know? Well, at least that's the reason that I feel was the most important for me because I was already, uh, and I still am having issues with my circulation on my legs. They get really swollen and then it causes pain when they swell. They cause pain for me to walk. Um, just like if I'm sitting down for a certain amount of time um, and then I wanna stand up, it, it hurts my joints because of the swelling so um i don't want to like <clears throat> i just didn't want to keep gaining weight and then get to a point where i wasn't going to be able to move also um i have a 12 year old son that i need to stay healthy for and I, I feel like my eating habits were also affecting him because he he has also gained a considerable amount of weight. He's only 12, like I said, and he's um, overweight as well. So um, I've tried to for him to join me on my weight loss and he has been doing some changes but uh it, it's a lot harder when when they're that age to commit to it but um he's actually uh taken the initiative of you know asking me oh let's go on a walk um and he he has kept doing it um more consistently now so i feel like he's starting to really get into wanting to be healthy you know okay so i already mentioned two reasons i have a couple of more um my my first so my first reason was for health and then my second reason was for my son uh so i want to be healthy in order to be able to um teach my son a healthier lifestyle okay so <clears throat> um reason number three um Okay, I'll leave this reason that I was going to tell you guys till the end because it gets me emotional. So let me go ahead and tell you about my other reasons. 
<clears throat> so I've always wanted to become a singer and an actress and I've always been really like so realistic about things I know that being the weight that I am and how I look um does not obtain many roles uh in the acting career so in order to become an actress I know <clears throat> they always look for uh certain <clears throat> way for you to look you know you have to be this slim person or in order to get more roles because um being overweight they just it's too limited so to become a singer you need to be able to move on stage and you have to be standing long periods of time and be able to move and dance and um uh, with this weight it's practically impossible if i'm already if i already have signs of uh bad circulation and stuff i mean and i'm already hurting so without without standing for long periods of time um it's gonna be impossible so i want to do this for my dreams because i've wanted i've wanted this i know what i've wanted since i was very very little maybe five years old and um i've never tried to because of my weight um i would always get bullied in school so i was very shy also at the time so um <clears throat> actually it took me a lot of years for me to build self my self-esteem um now i have a lot of confidence in myself um i've learned to love myself as i am um i wouldn't <clears throat> the only reason I, um so if i didn't have all these health issues due to overweight i wouldn't really be um so into weight loss because i've learned to become very confident in my body like how i look um <clears throat> it wasn't easy to get to this point i've had a lot of things to learn throughout the this journey and i feel like only those of us who have struggled with weight know how it feels to go to go through this you know m most of us if not all have been bullied because of our weight but for those of you who are going through that now i would just tell you that ignore them they people who bully others i feel like are lacking love and they just want attention so so by hurting others they they feel good in a certain way i don't know um i've never bullied anybody i do remember though that when i would get bullied in school my mom would tell me my mom would always tell me like if you if you tell your teachers and they don't do anything about it then go tell the principal and if the principal doesn't do anything about it then defend yourself i would just say ignore those people just do things that make you feel happy and there were all there will always be very few good friends you, you may have a lot of friends but those of those that help you or are with you when 
in the good and the bad times, those are the ones who are worth keeping. Okay, so now my last reason that I was talking about. Uh, It makes me really emotional because uh, <clears throat> I prop. This is it has to do with my grandma, who passed away. Um. So she. So um. Ever since I was born. I was overweight. I, I was born almost 11 pounds. So you can imagine the big baby I was. <laughs> and um, I, I've been overweight all my life, obese. <clears throat> so my grandma had always wanted to see me, probably not skinny, but a healthier version of myself and uh, she left without being able to <clears throat> she left without being able to see me lose weight so, so I promised to her I promised to her that I was going to do it, and I will. Okay. So, I would say, have a purpose, have your reasons to lose weight. I believe that will make your journey a lot more clear a lot more strong and a lot more motivating also I would say keep track by taking pictures, by writing it down in a journal and calendar. Um, that way you will see the progress you have made. You will see that it is possible. Like you will, you will have something to look back at. What else was I going to say? <sighs> Along your journey, try to keep yourself busy and incorporate more exercise. <clears throat> that way, that way you won't be thinking so much that you're hungry or that you want to be eating because a lot of us um, like to binge eat. Oh, um, for example, I, uh, or, or like there's though, there are those who are emotional eaters. Sometimes I'm an emotional eater. Um, if I'm happy, I'll eat. If I'm sad, I want to eat. If I'm depressed, if I'm anything, but, um, and I will include some pictures of the, of the food that I have eaten this past week, which I cheated like twice. Um, I'll show you that food on, and then you'll understand why I cheated. <laughs> no, um, 
But um, I felt like everything that I was going through um, caused me to uh, cheat this past week. But um, I'm trying to control those urges. <laughs> you in my next video please subscribe to my channel for those of you who haven't already and share share share